In this tutorial, we'll discuss Turnitin's AI detection and similarity reporting tools. We'll begin with a quick definition and explanation of how each works, followed by brief discussions of how to interpret Turnitin similarity reports and AI predictions. Turnitin checks a student's work against a database of billions of web pages, student papers, and collected documents and publications to find instances of similarity or matches. If it finds any, turn it and flags them for your review. Due to the nature of language, it's perfectly natural for an assignment to match against at least some of Turnitin's database. Even if a student uses quotes and references correctly, there may still be instances where Turnitin finds a match. The similarity score simply highlights any potential problem areas in a student's paper. Instructors can then use this as a tool during grading and review to determine if any academic misconduct has actually occurred. To access your student similarity reports, click the Turnitin submission link for that assignment within GAP. This will display the submission summary for that assignment. When a similarity report is available for viewing, a similarity percentage score will be displayed in the similarity column. Similarity reports that have not yet finished generating are represented by a grayed out icon in the similarity column. Unavailable reports may not have generated yet, or assignment settings may be delaying report generation. The color of the report icon indicates the amount of similarity within the paper. Percentage ranges from 0 to 100%, and possible ranges are blue for no matching text, green for one word to 24% matching text, yellow for 25 to 49% matching text, orange for 50 to 74% matching text, and red for 75 to 100% matching text. To select the similarity report you wish to view, simply click the paper title in the submission title column. To view the match overview for the paper that you're reviewing, click the red numerical similarity score from the similarity toolbar. If you're unable to see this menu that includes this numerical score, here on the right hand side of your Turnitin display, simply click the red paper icon and this will pop out the dynamic menu to the left that allows you to click the similarity score in order to see the match overview. When you click the similarity score, a list of matches and their corresponding percentages displays on the right of the screen. Clicking each source reveals a source box and brings you to the highlighted text uh, the highlighted text within the student's paper matching that source. You can also access this source box by clicking this little numbered flag here to the left of your student's uh, highlighted text. So clicking this box pops out your source box and you can also get to it by clicking this little flag. If you'd like to view the source itself, you've got a few options. The first is to click this book icon here in the right corner of the source box. This will actually display the source text here in the right hand panel on the Turnitin screen. If you want to actually go to the source itself on the internet, you can simply click the web address here in the source box, or you can click the web address here in the match box to the right of the screen. Either one of those links will take you directly to the source on the internet. If you'd like to see a more detailed breakdown of the match itself, click on this arrow to the right of the match percent. This will pop out a match breakdown box, and this will show you basically a display of all the different sources that are identified for each match, including any duplicates. If a student submits a paper to one of your classes and it indicates a high similarity percentage to another paper, either here at Westcliff or at another institution, you have the option to request to view the matching paper. And this is how Turnitin can help you detect uh, cheating or student collusion. So if you see that a student has, or that this paper matches with something that has been submitted to another institution, select the submitted to and then the host institution link from the match and then just click on this link and it will actually pop out uh, the page that opens recaps the paper view process and summarizes, summarizes the intellectual property rights of the paper's author. 
To proceed, select the Send a Request to View This Paper button. Turnitin will then send an email to the host institution on your behalf, and you receive an email when they respond, and it will actually include a link to the paper for you to view. If the paper was submitted to Westcliff, the process is just as easy, but it's much faster. So again, you'll select the Submitted to Westcliff University link here, and then this will open the source release box. And to proceed, you simply select the Download Original button. You'll then be given the option to download the paper either as um, in its original format, so if they submitted it as a Word document or what have you, or you can do uh, download it as a PDF. And what's great about this, it also, when the source release box opens, it shows you exactly when and where this particular document was submitted. So you'll be able to see um, maybe this is a situation where the student simply submitted it to your class as a draft, and that's something that should have happened. Or you'll be able to see that maybe this was something that was submitted last semester for a class that they're having to retake this semester, you know, just any of those types of situations. Whatever the case is, you'll be able to see um, which class it was submitted to and when it was submitted. Finally, just because Turnitin has detected a match or similarity between your student's writing and a source doesn't necessarily indicate plagiarism. Instead, as noted earlier, it indicates the need to review the paper to ensure proper source attribution. So for example, if you open your similarity report and you see some common names, phrases, or citations highlighted, as in this example, there's likely no need for concern, but it's definitely something that you wanna look at to make sure in situations like this, where we have a paraphrase, that we do have a properly formatted and included citation. However, if you open your similarity report and you see something as in this example um, where citations have clearly been left out, it indicates an area of opportunity for your student regarding proper source attribution. Now we'll shift our attention to Turnitin's AI writing detector. AI writing detection uses artificial intelligence and machine learning technologies to analyze and understand text produced by generative AI. Put simply, it uses AI to detect AI-generated text. When a student submits a paper to Turnitin, the document is analyzed in segments to understand its context, checking each part against Turnitin's AI writing detection tool to assess the likelihood it was created by AI. This system calculates an average AI writing score for the entire document, indicating how much text was likely generated by AI. Turnitin's technology, inspired by large language models like ChatGPT, leverages deep learning architecture to predict words accurately, much like your cell phone when it offers you a next word suggestion while you're texting, enabling the identification of subtle statistical patterns in AI writing. In short, since people generate text idiosyncratically and not algorithmically, the more often the detector's tool predicts or ah, the more often the detection tool's predicted text matches the text in the student's paper, the more likely it was written by AI. Turnitin's tool currently detects content from uh, ChatGPT3, GPT3.5, and GPT4 models, and there are ongoing efforts to ensure that as new GPT models are released, that AI's, uh, that the uh, Turnitin's AI detection processor will still be able to keep up with that. When you open a similarity report, the AI writing indicator is in the side panel. So this is where we remember we saw the Turnitin similarity report. Our AI report is right down here at the bottom. After a short period of processing, the indicator will display one of three potential states. Blue, as we see here, with a percentage between 0 and 100. Gray, with no percentage displayed. Or red, with an exclamation point. Blue with a percentage displayed between 0 and 100 indicates the submission has been processed successfully. The displayed percentage indicates the amount of qualifying text within the submission that Turnitin's AI writing detection model determines was generated by AI. This percentage is not necessarily the percentage of the entire submission. If text within the submission was not considered long-form prose text, it will not be included. 
Long-form prose is individual sentences contained in paragraphs that make up a longer piece of written work, like an essay or a dissertation. So the tool does not reliably detect AI-generated text in things like poetry, code, bullet points, tables, or annotated bibliographies. If you see a gray icon with no percentage, percentage displayed, this indicates the AI writing detector was unable to process the submission. And this can occur due to one or several of the following reasons. So first, the submission was made before the release of Turnitin's AI detection capabilities. The only way to see the AI writing detection report on historical submissions is to resubmit them. The second situation, the submission does not meet the file requirements needed to successfully process it for AI writing detection. For a submission to generate an AI reporting, uh, an AI writing report and percentage, the submission needs to meet these guidelines. The file size must be less than 100 megabytes. The file needs to have at least 300 words of long form prose. It must not exceed 15,000 words. It must be written in English and it must be submitted in an accepted file type. So the accepted file types for Turnitin at the moment are .docx, .pdf, .txt, or .rtf. If you get this icon read with an exclamation point, it indicates that there was an error during the Turnitin AI detection uh, process. If the file meets all of the file requirements that were required for successful processing, but it has still generated this error, um, Turnitin asks that you please contact them at supportcenter.turnitin.com so that they can help to investigate the situation further. The AI writing report shows the percentage of likely AI generated writing and highlights that writing in blue within the text submission. Remember, this report is a prediction, not a definitive indication of AI-generated text. However, the higher the prediction percentage, the more likely your student did use AI to write this paper. So, just as with Turnitin's originality detector does not definitively detect plagiarism, Turnitin's AI detector does not definitively detect AI-generated text. Instead, both alert you to areas of concerns you should review during your assessment process. Turnitin's AI writing detection technology is different from the technology used within similarity detection. The AI writing detection model calculates the overall percentage of text in the submitted document that was likely generated by an AI writing tool. Similarity reports, on the other hand, use metadata and forensic language analysis to detect if the submitted assignment was written by someone other than the student. It was, it will not indicate, it will not be able to indicate if it was written by AI, only that the content is not the student's own work. That's why your similarity in AI percentages will rarely, if ever, be equal to one another.